You know, Activision, you guys have made some pretty questionable bundles in the shop, and I've even made a video on a few of them. But $40 for a bundle? Nobody's dumb enough to buy that. Oh. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Yo, what's going on guys? It's the boy Fooly and I'm bringing you guys another video right here on Black Ops Cold War. And today we're going to be talking about this ultimate $40 bundle that's coming into the shop in a couple of days. And good God almighty, here goes another one guys. But before we get into anything, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notifications if you'd like and uh, let's get right into it. You know, I found out about this bundle like a week or two ago and I held off on making this video because the last like three times I did this, I got very, very 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 mixed reactions a lot of angry people and while i find it incredibly amusing and hilarious to make people angry especially on cod it seems like a lot of people are probably gonna end up buying this one even though i think it's absolutely ridiculously dumb and the last time i thought a bundle was absolutely ridiculously dumb people were still really mad at me because they wanted to buy it but this time around we have the ultimate joke bundle i don't know what it's called i'm not gonna lie the tagger versus big joke ultimate pack what a grand name for such a grand price as well and again this isn't my first rodeo here guys like i've made videos on some dumb bundles before i'm well aware that a lot of people are gonna be really mad do i care hell no this pack sucks all right guys do not waste your money on this. It's a waste of money, guys. And you know what? I'm actually gonna give credit where credit is due this time around. Even though I think it's dumb, the content inside actually isn't all that bad, to be completely honest. That's right. I've seen other bundles with worse content, some worth even more money, but this one isn't necessarily all about the content that's inside of it. This one's definitely just more about the price. But aside from the content, there's actually just so much wrong with this bundle. This bundle should simply not exist at this point in time. Let me put it this way for you guys. Cold War is literally on life support right now. Cold War is currently on its deathbed, all right? The hype for playing Cold War is simply non-existent, and you're gonna add a bundle worth $40? Come on, Activision. Again, this isn't my first rodeo here, guys. Like, I I've made plenty of videos on dumb bundles, so I'm very, very well prepared for people roasting me. And to you guys who are already typing that comment, just know, if it's dumb enough, I I'll respond, all right? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have a bit of a sweet tooth for roasting people who say dumb things. I'm not gonna lie. But yes, this bundle is absolutely idiotic. It 100% should not exist. And if it is gonna exist, maybe not for $40. Guys, this bundle is literally worth the price of some games. And before some people get incredibly triggered by that, I just wanna make it very clear. It's not necessarily entirely about the content. Let me repeat this because a lot of people misinterpret what I'm saying. I am not necessarily saying the content sucks, all right? I'm simply saying this bundle should not exist right now. If you're wondering what the content is, it's two legendary operator outfits, clown guy again, and then a graffiti inspired sign painter for Wolf. I don't know who Wolf is, I'm sorry. Five weapon blueprints are included. Four of them are legendary weapons. That is not bad. That's actually pretty crisp, I'm not gonna lie. As well as a variety of cosmetic items. What that usually means is some emblems, some car horns, some vehicle skins, a bunch of mid, all right? A bunch of stuff that Activision should probably pay me to have. To top it all off, you'll also get 5,000 cod points which can be spent on a bundle or the battle pass etc this is all for just 39.99 usd all right we're gonna stop it there <laughs> we're gonna stop it there i don't know why activision sounds all jolly about this being 40 dollars like it's nothing for what reason is this thing 40 dollars activision what do you need 40 dollars for oh <laughs> You need it for butt plugs! Alright, I get it now, I get it now. You know, instead of using all that money to, you know, make the game better, developing a game that doesn't suck balls at launch, I understand, you know, $40 for butt plugs. But in all seriousness, I understand what everybody's big appeal is with this grand bundle. It's the 5,000 COD points, alright? I understand, I'm not, I'm not a dupe. 5,000 COD points sounds great, right? Pay $40 for 5,000 COD points? I don't have a problem with anybody wanting 5,000 COD points. Now, I, I'll say that's a bit questionable, but I'm not gonna roast you. What I'm gonna roast you for is saying, that 5,000 free COD points in the shop is free. It's not free. It's not free, guys. And to everybody who's like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. $40 equates to 5,000 COD points, and this bundle gives you 5,000 COD points. That means you're getting $40 back. That's free. That's not how money works. No. Getting 5,000 COD points back, you're not gonna see those $40 ever again. Meaning you essentially need to spend those 5,000 COD points again, and before the Joe Seacock Gucci eaters get on me for this one too, I understand. Some people will use those 5,000 COD 
Star Points and actually buy more bundles. Tell me this though, how many more battle passes are we gonna get in Cold War? I mean, I'm pretty sure the answer is actually zero. Well, what about spending that on bundles for Cold War, right? Guys, the new game comes out in less than a month. What incredible great content could you possibly buy for this game that you're gonna be using in Cold War slash Warzone when the new game comes out in less than a month, guys? L let's be honest, guys. Some people are gonna buy this thing for the goddamn clown mask thing again, huh? Like we didn't just get like five clown costumes in a game based in the Cold War era. Look, I understand the appeal of wanting a clown outfit in Cold War. You're playing COD and you're giving money to Activision. Of course you wanna wear the clown mask. Some people think they're gunning me if they're using that thing. That's not happening ever. Everybody I've seen using that clown outfit in COD has gone and absolutely smoked by me. I've never lost a gunfight to somebody using the clown mask. Just absolutely smoked, beam, bam, boom, off the map. What is the appeal with that thing, guys? Going off the rails a little bit here. Let me get back on track. Having to use all that money again only on COD. If you have the money, that's great. Good for you. Use all the money you want. Keep feeding butt plugs to Activision. That's fine with me. But if you're somebody, and I've seen a lot of them in my comment sections before for these videos, if you're somebody who's actually saving your money for this specifically, do not buy it. Use that money on the next title. I said this before and I'll say it again. Guys, $40 is literally the price of some video games. You know what else you can get for $40? Guys, $40 back in the day would literally get you eight maps and two new zombies maps. You know how many people have been fiending for zombies maps and new original content? Back in the day, you would have gotten eight maps? Come on, guys. And what now? $40 for some car horns, the sixth clown mask in this game, dressing as yourself for supporting Activision. I'm not gonna lie, the legendary blueprints, that sounds cool. Majority of everything else, Nah. And yes, the Haunting in Verdansk is coming back in a couple of days, and you can use that towards bundles. That makes sense. That is good. The thing is, $40 is still not worth it. <laughs> All right, all of those bundles that you're thinking of getting with these 5,000 COD points, those shouldn't equate to $40 either. Look guys, when any bundle comes out and it has stupid content in it, like the E-Tool bundle or that bundle with the McDonald's kit on it, that Burger Town bundle, whatever. When those kinds of bundles come out for any money, that's stupid because that content sucks. But when content is extremely overpriced for no reason whatsoever, like the Moab bundle that got scrapped because it was dumb, trying to charge people 10,000 COD points for recycled Modern Warfare 2019 content? No! No, 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 no. No. If they're making content to incentivize you spending $40 or more in the shop, it's not good. It's not worth it, guys. I understand the argument. It's my money. I can do whatever I want for it. I stripped on the corner for this money, dude. I deserve it. I understand. You worked hard for that money. Go ahead. By all means, go ahead. But I will never forget when people were spending money to get 10,000 COD points for a bundle that never came out that was not worth it to begin with. And charging people $40 for a bundle, even if the content is good, Cold War and Modern Warfare were both listed for like 60 to $70. And if we're going off quality, these two games should be in the clearance section. How are you going to charge more than half the amount of your entire game where a large chunk of that content you can't even see on your own character unless you're walking here? You know, instead of using all of this time making bundles worth $40, which is absolutely ridiculous, I mean my fucking grandma wouldn't charge you this much for a bundle like that, why not focus on making your game more enjoyable? How about using that time to make maps that are fun or reducing SBMM. How about that? You know what actually would get me to buy bundles? Bundles where the content is actually worth it. And at the same time, it cannot be costing me 2000 COD points to get a shovel in the game. No, I'm not doing that. However, if those bundles were priced evenly, accordingly, and you know, with some common sense behind them, I would actually probably spend money on bundles. The Ghostface bundle, I'll probably buy that. Why not? You know, let's have some fun for once, you know? But all this other stuff, nah, hell. No, hell to the no, hell no. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all this. Would you find yourself buying even more bundles if they just costed a reasonable price? And I don't know, maybe if these skins were actually good. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell notification if you want to. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Two.